Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV with another Q&A session for you. And this one comes from Omar Tech Geek 2011 again, who's been leaving me some brilliant questions. Is it cheaper to build a PC or to buy a brand new one? Well, the short answer is it's always cheaper to build, really is. Um, and you normally get better specification for your money if you build one. There is always that convenience factor. If you're buying from someone like Dell, you're getting a system that's got a good specification, delivered to you, unbox it, turn it on, use it, ready to go. I recently did a little test. I, there was a Dell Vostro system, and I put that in my shopping cart for 599 pounds. And then I went across to Scan, which is a website that I use for a lot of my components, scan.co.uk. No, they're not sponsoring the video. It's just somebody I've used for years and I put the components in my basket and for the same money, I'll tell you what I got. So the Dell system had a Core i7-2600 processor. On the scan system for the same price, I could get a Core i7-2600K, which is the unlocked version of the processor, so a slightly better processor. If I spent about 10 or 15 pound more, I could get the next processor up again. The Dell system had a one gigabyte NVIDIA 620 graphics card in it. And I think again, with the scan system, I could go one step higher and get a slightly better graphics card. The Dell system, six gigabytes of RAM. The one that I was building myself, I could get eight gigabytes of RAM. A one gigabyte hard drive in both systems, although the Dell one was unspecified on what was the actual um, sort of brand. With the one that I was specifying, I could choose what one I wanted, and I chose a Seagate Barracuda 7200.14. Very good hard drive, same capacity. Uh, the only difference between the two was Dell had, on their case, had a media reader or card reader built in. Not a deal breaker, few pounds to add it to the other one. And I think that was it. Oh yeah, the other thing, the other thing which was very important, was the Dell system had a 300 watt power supply and with the scan one it was a 650 watt cooler master power supply which again would mean that in the future if I wanted to put a better sort of specification graphics card in there then that was possible so there was quite a bit of difference I was getting a lot more for my money by building it myself uh, the warranty as well that's something else to consider with um the Dell system you're getting a year's warranty when I was looking at the scan system you could um, sort of see the individual components and I think the uh, power supply had something like a 10-year warranty um, I think the hard drive had a three or a five-year warranty the graphics card I'm pretty sure don't quote me on this but I'm sure it had a three-year warranty on it and one of the other components had a five-year warranty on it so you were getting a lot better on the individual components on the other system. The downside, obviously, is you've got to build it yourself, but the upside is, if your graphics card fails and it's under warranty, you're gonna be without your system for a little while, but you can get the graphics card swapped out or repaired just by sending it off. Whereas with the Dell one, after the first year, you're gonna struggle getting anything done with it. So both have their pros and cons. And and it really depends how competent you are as well. If you really fancy putting the system together yourself, then I think it's probably the way to go. Uh, if you want something that you can just take out the box, you're gonna to have to go for something like a Dell, or look at Scan, scan.co.uk, there's overclockers.co.uk, there's, <clears throat> what's the other one? Overclock, there's Dabs, Novatech, there's quite a few companies, and these are all UK ones, because I'm in the UK and they offer pre-built systems as well. So for a little bit more, you can actually have your system built and delivered to you. You're gonna pay a couple of hundred pound over the price of that Dell system, but you might get a bit more performance for your money. So great question, brilliant question in fact, I love that one. If you've got any new questions, leave it in the comments section below. Please do hit the like button, please do subscribe, please do check out the Geek and Noise channel as well, that's my main channel and I will see you all in the next video.